How to recolour swatches, pattern swatches in Illustrator. I'm using CC 2019, but same basic process in CC 2018, 2017, etc. Now, first thing to do, I've got some symbols here. Now I'm going to use one of these symbols as a pattern, a pattern design. So I'm just going to select one of these. These are Art Nouveau designs on the found on the Graphic Extras website, a whole range of different designs. And once you've got that, I'm just going to quickly expand that by the object menu. And once it's expanded, I'm just going to now, what I'm going to do, go to the object menu and pattern and make. And then I'm just going to re just resize it a bit. I'm just going to change it. Just going to duplicate it. Just go to the Alt option as well, just to quickly create a... There, I've got another design there. I'm just going to recolor that. So you've got something a bit more interesting than just a basic standard pattern. I'm going to resize it a bit as well. So I've got that design now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to recolor that design. So I'm just going to save that copy. Click OK, and you can see the design there in the swatches. So once you've actually got that, I'm just going to remove that now. I don't need that anymore. Just going to, there, swatches, that's the key panel there, swatches there. You can find it in the window menu. So just going to create a container for it, a path, and just there, just drag that out. And now I'm just going to apply the swatch. So, right, got the swatch there, design. What you can do, edit menu, and edit colours, and adjust colour balance is one option, and there's recolour artwork. It's another way of great way of colouring the design. So just go there and drop down. I'm just going to go for a range of different colours and then you can just click there just to randomly adjust the colours. You can do other things with it. It's got a lot of functionality in the panel. I'm just showing a quick brief way of just recolouring just using that option just there, the random. There. Click OK. Once you're happy with that, then you can see what happens. It actually adds that swatch just down there. So you've got another great swatch you can use in your projects. What you can do, also you can do edit and and then just go down to adjust colour balance, it's another option. And what you do, preview is off, so just set the preview on. Don't know why it's always off, be nice if it was always set on, but it isn't. So you can then change the red, change the green, obviously make it more pink there, go for blue, make it red there, and go the other way, and so on and so on. So you can tweak it a whole range of ways, click OK, and again you can see the swatch has been added there. That's another great way of doing it. Ooh, object menu. No, I don't want to do any expand or anything like that. Edit menu and then go to edit colours again. And there's saturate. That's a great way as well. You can just again set the preview on. Again, it's off always. Click OK and I see straight away it's been added to the swatches again. So you've got a nice saturated one there. Also edit and you can invert the colours. And you can see you've got the inverted colours. Again, that's added as a swatch. Edit colours again and you've got convert to grayscale. Uh, unfortunately, there's no sort of black and white feature like you've got in Photoshop where you can manipulate the colours very nicely in black and white. But uh, So anyway, they've all been added and you can again, of course, go for the swatches and click on those and again, pattern. And you can also edit the pattern. So, so just go to the object menu and pattern and edit the pattern. And you can tweak that around. You can recolour those individually. So you can say set that to red, set that to go to the other one, set maybe that to green. And once you're happy with that, you might say resize it, modify it, maybe add additional designs, and then save a copy. I always generally like to save a copy, wait until it's been saved, and then done. Cancel that point, you've at least got a copy over there. You can see it again in swatches. I'm just delete that, and then I'm just going to go and create a star, and then you can just see the various patterns that have been added. Recolored ones. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much. graphicextras.com